Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. Today I'll explain how to do the prediction for a new data set using Neobias in Nine. Neobias is a popular machine learning algorithm used for classification tasks. It's based on the Bayes theorem and makes an assumption that the features used for classification are conditionally independent. This means that the presence or absence of one feature does not affect the presence or absence of any other feature. In practice, Neobias is commonly used for text, text classification, spam detection, and other similar tasks, where the assumption of conditional independence of features may hold reasonably well. This assumption allows the algorithm to be computationally efficient and works well on large data set. Now let's see how we can do the prediction for the new data set using Nine. So first of all, I will activate the input output node from here. I will activate the read CSV reader. I double click, click on it so that I can browse the data set which is in the CSV format. So I'll connect the Heart1 data set. Later on, we will be using Heart1 test data set. Click open, click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. We want to do the classification of the heart disease on the basis of age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, and maximum hours of exercise. So I'll activate the column filter from here so that I can filter only those variables which are, which are matter of our interest. Right click on it and configure. Remove all the variables from here, include age, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, maximum hours of exercise, and heart disease. Click OK. Right-click on it and execute. Again, right-click on it and see the filter table. Now, activate the color manager. Actually, the color manager is not necessary here. You activate the partitioning here. Color manager is necessary in the this entry. Here, color manager is not necessary. Activate the partitioning here. Right click on it and configure. Activate the stratified sampling and make it sure that this is 80%. So 80% of the data will be used for training purpose and 20% data will be used for testing purpose. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and you can see the first partition consists of 20% of the data set. Right click on it and see the second partition, the 20% data. Now activate the new bias learner from here. Right click on it and configure. Make sure that the heart disease is our target variable. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and view the new bias learner. New bias learner will never uh, make an equation like regression analysis or logistic regression. It will just give you the Gaussian distribution. Now, activate the new bias predictor from here. Connect this new bias predictor, this partition with the new bias predictor. So the remaining 20% data set will be used for the prediction purpose. Right click on it and configure. Click on both these boxes. Change prediction column name and append columns with the normal class distribution. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the classified data. So this is a prediction which has been done according to the algorithm and this is the original data. Now we want to see that how well our algorithm fits to the data. So for this, I'll activate the scorer from here. Right click on it and configure. Activate the hard disease and the prediction hard disease. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and view the confusion matrix. So you can see here it is generating the confusion matrix, means this is the original data known and the prediction done by the algorithm is no. So 61 such are such cases in which the algorithm correctly classified the data. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos to understand the confusion matrix properly. Now, the second case. The 
person is having a heart disease and the algorithm also predicted correctly. So 69 are such cases. So 61 plus 69 are correctly classified cases. The total amount is 130. The classification accuracy is 70.65 percentage. If we talk about this 33, the person is not a person is having a heart disease and the algorithm predicted no misclassification has been done. Similarly, a person is not having a heart disease, but the algorithm predicted that a person is having a heart disease. So 33 plus 21 is 54 are wrongly classified cases. For an algorithm to work in a good way, it is necessary that the accuracy should be more than 80%. Now, let's activate the new data set for which we want to do the prediction. So I'll again go in serious way reader, activate it. Double click on it. I'll browse the data set. So this time I'll connect heart one test. This is a completely new set of data which we are going to use here. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Now create the copy of the predictor. This predictor will get the data from the CSV reader, but it, it will get its learning from the nearby learner here. Right click on it, configure, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the classified data. So you can see here that this is the heart disease and this is the prediction done by the algorithm. Let us introduce the column filter also. Right click on it, execute. Again, right click on it and execute. The column filter we will be only considering those variables which have been used for the learner purpose. Now let's see again the classified data. So this is the predicted prediction done by the algorithm and this is the original data. Now let's see how well our algorithm fits to the data. So for this, I'll again activate the scorer from here. So copy, control V. And I'll connect this new bias predictor with the scorer. Right click on it, configure. Make sure heart disease is on and prediction heart disease is on. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the confusion matrix. So the new data consists of 10 observations out of which six uh, were correctly classified that the person is not having the heart disease and the algorithm also predicted uh, classified it correctly. One, a person is having a heart disease and the algorithm also predicted correctly. Two plus one are misclassification which has been done. Three, wrongly classified cases. So this is the way you can do the prediction for new data set using new bias in nine for more videos on nine kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter please refer my playlist as i have already uploaded many videos on nine